Hi folks, this is Arid, a desert survival game that you can download for free on Steam. We're playing it because it just got its 1.0 full release after a brief period in early access. And it's free because it's a game by students, and but it feels very polished and gave me a long dark vibe in places, despite the obvious climate differences. Let's take a look. Right, so this, is, this is a game where temperature and sun exposure is critical. We've got to not be out in the sun too much, otherwise bad shit will happen. And so our first section, this is going to be like a, a large open world section where we have to get down a mine. We have to like um, rummage around for materials. I have food, hunger and tiredness and health, um, but also sun exposure at the top and temperature in the bottom right. We've got to make sure that none of them go too crazy. Uh, we haven't got enough, oh we have actually, we've got enough stuff to make a fire. But and we've also, we could also sleep. Let's also check these barrels. Oh, we've got loads of stuff in here. Unfortunately, just like the long dark, you'll get to hate the number 30 because that's the um, encumbrance number and we've just passed that, we've got 31. So it might be a time to actually just do some basic ass eating, just to like try and keep the weight down. Now we will have, and we're still encumbered, and we will have like a, um, a better base camp to work from soon. So I'm not going to try and do any like clever juggling or setting up a camp here. Um, crafting wise, I don't think there's a huge amount we can probably do now. We can make some uncooked mortar. So our first task is to butcher the creature, a dead creature that we found. So we need to find a few plant fibres first there, the little yellow tufts. Actually, we are getting a little bit tired, so I'm actually going to quickly um, um, get us up to speed with some uh, coffee. Have I actually got any coffee yet? Hang on. Yes, there we go. Use. Up and, at and that'll Im improve things somewhat. Right, let's go here. And sharp rock knife. We do that, and now we can butcher the Visaska <laughs> with a knife, and we'll get leather, raw meat, and animal fat. Delicious. And we might actually be able to cook that on the fire. So that's just going to take ooh, a little bit of time. It's going to take 15 more seconds. Anything else? Oh, I'm not actually open this. Grab and back. Ooh, hang on. How do you get it? <laughs> yeah, there we go. We actually don't really need it yet. Let's actually save that till later. We won't worry about the objective. Oh, it's gone dark. <laughs> Whilst I wasn't looking. And in fact, it might be a good time to sleep then. So let's just extinguish that and have a bit of a kip. Right, so now, this morning, I actually am going to need to eat. So we'll eat that. And it might be a good idea to have a bit of a drinky poos as well. There we go. Nice. All done. And so there's a bit more we can do here, but let's actually move on. Because we need to... Oh, I know, there's a... A mummified body. Uh, we could take the bones, but that encumbers us. <laughs> oh, oh, bloody hell, that's, a, that's some good stuff there. So, yeah, we're going to have to do some more juggling. Um, Maybe I'll just drop some rocks. Drop the rock. Can't drop the rock. Right, okay, so we need to find a way down the mountain. Hey, look, Baba? it's the long dark over here. Happy. Unfortunately, there's no rope down. We need a hook and we need a rope. Uh, that's fine. There's actually a rope. Oh, there's a... There's literally a hook right here, which I'll immediately put into the repair job. And then there's a rope, I believe, kind of like over there somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Wooden crate and rope. And we don't want to be jumping down there anytime soon because... You can barely see because of the torch. Because that's a long way down and would die. So we do need to get this whole rope thing sorted. Right, here we go. Repair you. And down the rope. And you'll be pleased to know this doesn't almost murder you like in the long dark. <laughs> It'd drain all your stats away. And... God, there's a long way down. Oh, there we go. We've reached the bottom. Another dirt pile. Let's rummage. We've actually got a, sh um, a shovel, but... We've got Pete! Right, so just down this little gully, and we have found ourselves... Not that this lights anything up. <laughs> we've found ourselves a mine shaft. Uh, we do need to do some serious ass repairs. We need three hooks, five planks, one... four bolts, and one rope. Um... Unfortunately, I think you can only add add things to the recipe, your, the blueprint, once you've actually got all of them. So I need to make sure that I've got five planks before I can actually unload them, which is a shame because um, everything in my inventory is very heavy. So yes, we do. do we're, we're now in a very open area. Like we can go and exploring and like and finding new shelters and things like that. None of these things have anything. <laughs> but what I think I will do is because this is uh, kind of like a um, destination ultimately, is um, see if there's any storage here. I think there is, and we'll use this to like put things in, like. Uh, we'll, we'll, instead of like taking the plank, we'll put the plank in. So T to transfer all of them. So what I'll, what I'll do is um, I will transfer some of the... Because um, we've got some very heavy equipment and we've got multiple of them. 
Uh, the pickaxe, for instance, is five kilograms. So let's leave this one behind. Plank. That's good. That's actually um, uh, the, the last plank that we need. Uh, but I won't go back just yet because there's still plenty to get. I still need plenty of bolts. I think that's the, the main thing. We also think, I think we needed a hook as well. I'm just ignoring that dirt pile because there's generally not a huge amount of excitement. I'll, I'll, have, this, I'll have a go with this one. See if you have got the shovel. We've got a rock. <laughs> God damn it, I shouldn't have bothered. Don't, really, don't necessarily need the torch out um, outdoors. It's only really in caves where the torch becomes... Oh, it's daytime! I know. That's just a pile of rocks. Oh, oh, blimey. So there is actually um, there is a stamina bar in the very bottom left, the, the little thin one. So sometimes I can run, sometimes I can't. <laughs> but look at that! You can, see shelter, you can see a shelter up there, you can see a shelter down there. Um, there's, there's a flag up here. Uh, which is probably less than useful, but there's also a lot of stuff, a lot of trove for us to have a bit of a peek at. Clean water, nice. That'll do nicely. So what I, need, what I want to do is find a shelter. Oh, a stick. Sticks are tiny in this. What I want is to find a shelter with a bed that we can um, either sleep in or repair and then sleep in. God, that was a good, a good ass crate, and we did actually need some rope. A hatchet. Is that going to encumber us? Yeah. <laughs> the hatchet was. I think I'll get with the shovel. I mean, sod the shovel. That takes us right down again. That's not good. That's not a way down. <laughs> That's a death. So my sun exposure is getting a bit nasty at the moment, if you notice in the top. I am cl getting close to sunburn. What I'll probably do, actually, is um, rub some clay on my skin, which does actually give me a little bit of extra protection, which is handy. I think I might be able to work my finagle my way down here somewhat. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get a wiggle on here as well. Um, my energy is getting low, so yeah, we could definitely do with um, getting a bed thing sorted. Although now it's daytime. And we, yeah, we'll, sl we'll sleep through the heat of the day, to some extent. Although the days and nights are quite long in this. Well, 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 we have some fresh water. Which we don't need, really. But I'll have a bit of a drink of that, and a refill. There we go. Ah, no bed here. But we will be able to get our sun exposure down whilst we just fiddle around here. Uh, more clay... We've actually got another hammer here. Um, I'll take the in fine wood, maybe. But I'm not going to take anything else. I'm going to go up there, which is probably as far away from our base as we can possibly get. But I seem to remember from previous playthrough that this is a good place. It's full of absolutely everything that you need up there. Here we go with... Um, well, we've got a few, a few points of interest here. We've actually got three rooms to explore. This one, well, we'll get some more oil out of that. And get another water purifier. But this room's a bit piss. And there's an upstairs room here, which is useful because I think I think this might have a bed in it. And it's also a complete bed, so we don't need to repair it. Unfortunately, it's occupied by a mummified bod, which I'm not going to worry about. So I'll have a sleep. Uh, I'll wait to see. This is it's still 10 o'clock in the morning. i wait for our stamina to come all the way back. We are losing hunger and thirst here. So we're probably waking up just before midday. Yet another hammer. Don't fall onto the cactus. That's a good boy. Squeeze through there. And yes, you can get pricked. So don't. And we have ourselves a crafting table. See what we can make here. Uh, we can make a cooking stick. A stick used for cooking. Also, I will make a couple of these because I think these are useful here and there. We may need a bandage. I don't. I think I've used them. Used up all the bandages I've got so far, and that's pretty much everything. Oh, we can make more planks, but. I say the other place had, a, I think, a crafting table we can use, so... Oh, bolts! I'll take that. Just the bolt. Oh, actually, I took everything. Right, okay, so I think we've probably got pretty much everything. Maybe not the hook. I think we've got everything for the mine now. Uh, maybe, um, on the... Yeah, I think we've got all, all our stats are fine, so maybe on the way back we'll go a different route and maybe see if we can find any hooks. See, over there, there's desert. That looks forbidding. There's also a plane overhead. Mate! Help! Mm, I don't think they've seen us. Get rid of certain things, which immediately brings my weight right down. So we just need three hooks and one... I think it's a strong rope. I think we've only got a, a weaker rope. I'm going to leave that pickaxe there because we don't need another one of those just yet. So now we need to... Um, well, we need, probably need to find a crafting table because I think we can make rope. Uh, but it's the hooks that I'm a bit more concerned about. Stick. Right, time to do some more exploring. We've made a mistake here. I was going to put some clay on me, and I didn't. And now I have sunburn. There's a crafting bench over there. Let's just um, hang out in here for a sec. I think I may have got... 
some aloe vera, which I'll use. I'll sort out my sunburn. Protection. That actually gives me good protection. Okay, that's good. Um, I think that kind of like resets my um, exposure for a while. Let's run over here. Let's see if we can actually sort out this rope situation. Strong rope. Here we go. We need leather, rope, and oil. Okay. Right, that sorts us out for the rope that we need. We just now need the hooks. And I know there's plenty around, I just haven't ha happened to have found any on this playthrough yet. Uh, the contents of things I don't think are randomised. So I think um, everything's always in the same place. But honestly, I can't remember where I found them last time, so there is that. Ooh, nice little bit of cave action here. F frame rates have dropped a bit. <laughs> there's also lore to find, like Shaman's Journal and stuff like that. And there's a repairer of a bed. And we will need a bed reasonably soon. We could also make a food trap um, if we had another plank of wood. Do we have another plank of wood anywhere? Don't think we do. But yeah, they'll eventually... Oh, wait, there's one right there. They'll eventually, like, him capture critters. Do that. Set the trap. And when we come back here, we might actually find something nasty in there, which we can butcher with a knife or something. Ah, metal hook. We have one. Only one. Idaho Johnson's diary. Someone who's been going through my tobacco stash. What kind of madman would break into another shelter to steal his smokes is beyond me. Right, let's steal his smokes. Ooh. Just give it, um, this is the, the opposite side to where we were when we first started. This is, we can actually repair the bridge, but we need four more planks of wood. There's also a cave right here, so let's have a look inside here. Maybe this will take us to where we need to go. So without the torch. You're kind of long darked somewhat. But with a touch, all is good. Let's have a bit of a run around through here. Quite a long one, this. Round here, across there. Dirt. <laughs> Frankly. And. Ooh. I wonder how many people went through here. wonder how many of them went out. Actually, there's a bit of a maze, this. There's more than one path. Oh, is that a dead end? Don't suppose there's any hooks down here, are there? Nope. There's the exit to the cave. Brings us out where we've been before, I think. Or well, have we? Oh yes, it's here. This is the um, this is the place with the uh, the bedroom. Hurts like a mother. Oops. Gotta lay off it for a bit. Huh. Oops. Bandage. <laughs> I think I might need that. There we go. Yeah, I think I just dropped a bit too suddenly there. Right, so here we are. Back at the thing. Repair. Bridge. Achievement unlocked. Bridge. <laughs> Literally the achievement's name. And we're back here where we've got the rope. Uh, which is very nice. And it's also daytime now, so I can put that away. Uh, and with any luck... That's not a crafting table. We can go back down there again. Uh, with any luck, we can find the last of these hooks. Whilst I'm here, I can put the rope on there. So it literally is just now two hooks I need, and we're all done. It's going to double check everything. Oh! <laughs> I was literally looking at one. Excellent. Okay, that's two. That really was just right by the, the mine entrance. Ooh! A hook. Is that a hook? Might as well hold on to that. that is the hook that we need. But let's take the clay as well, because I, I could do with wiping myself down with it. Sun protection. And there's a note on top. Idaho Johnson's diary. If found, please return to sender. No. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I think that's all we can do. I think, that's, yeah, that's all we need to do now is go all the way back to the opposite side of the map. Uh, <laughs> I've done this a few times. Right, so I'm descending the, the, the same rope again. Uh, as I've done. This is the third time I've done this. Um, back to where we need to be. Oh, there we go. And we finally have all the hooks, and we can go down and see what lies below, which I do not know. Have we not got this far before? I've cooked some meat as well, so we shouldn't be we shouldn't be uh, any we shouldn't be suffering for food. Here we go. Achievement unlocked. Underground. Right, another rope. That's, I've, I've got plenty of oil, so that's not going to be a problem. Achievement unlocked. First encounter. Find the exit and escape the cave. Hmm. I'm still halfway down the road, I think. Some sun exposure minimal down here, funnily enough. You can still just about see things circling overhead. 
Alright. Rocks. <gasps> What's this? Bloody footprints. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Run away. Oh, follow the arrow. Careful. That's nothing. No, no, no. Oh, phew. phew, that's fine. We're fine. What's this? Oil. Take the oil. Bell pepper. Something's behind me. Run. This is like that Halloween the long dark thing. That was that had an invisible lad. <gasps> it's right ahead of us. What are we gonna do? We're running out of stamina now. Let's circle round. Right, okay, we'll have to face this full on. And go round it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go! Huh. There. <laughs> that little leap that made all the difference. This way. Some water. Do we need the water? Probably not. On, Do we have a pick? Do we, have a we don't need a pickaxe. We're fine. Barely looted. Barely looted. Looks like they left this place in a hurry. Oil. It's still just behind us. Can we get out of there? Ooh, run. Up we go. Hopefully, hopefully ghosts can't climb. I don't know where we're going. No, we're actually up. It's fine. We're, up above, we're actually up above her. Up above the thing. There we go. There we go. Don't know why I took the opportunity to drink there, but once I started, I couldn't stop. Um, feels like it really wants me to get rocks. Don't need the oil. I've got plenty. Why didn't it come after me? Got to be tremors. Yeah. Those buggers. Can't hear any noises now. I'll take that. Won't take that. Plenty of trove, but we are under a bit of a time limit here, I think. Oh, look! Exit. That's sure to be good. Ah, the sun. Life-giving sun. It's too hot. Achievement unlocked. What was that? Ooh, the mining town doesn't seem that large, but maybe someone still lives there. Look for help, and that's the nightmare is over. Um, <laughs> completed. Um, and as is indeed the video. Um, okay, so we'll stop here, because I think we've had a good old look at this. Um, it's got quite a bit more content by the seams of it. They've been adding it to it during early access and whatever, and now it's technically the 1.0. So give it a go, and it's quite a lot of fun if you like survival sorts of games. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to Randomized User to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games out there. Uh, check me out and buy me a coffee if you want to support the channel and say thanks for the vids. Uh, bye for now.